Hi, welcome to our tutorial videos. This video we're going to talk a little bit about how to tune your ship and um, how the upgrades and the knowledge slots work. So here's our basic cutter. We can click on it to board the ship and then click on equipment. You can see the hold. These are the items that we picked up in one of our recent battles. A basic weighted gunpowder which gives us extra penetration and some rig repairs which for ships which need to pay for repairs this would uh, this would um, fix your sails so we don't need the rig repairs on a basic cutter so we'll put it in our warehouse upgrades you can store in your upgrades hold which means um, they can be accessible from wherever you are in the world whatever outpost you might be at so now just over here we've got the standard base cannons that came with the ship they're class 10 and you can see there the stats on those cannons. The ship can take between class 8 and class 10 cannons, that's what those two numbers mean, or between class 8 and class 8 carronades. That's how you read those numbers. Everything in front of the slash is a cannon and everything after the slash is a carronade and those are the classes. So you can take at class 8 to 10 cannons, comes standard with class 10. We've got some money now so we could put some higher class cannons on there and maybe shoot a bit harder so let's go to the shop click on cannons and we can do 8th class and here we see we can get medium cannons for um, $869 each we need 12 cannons or we can get long cannons for $12.99 each or we can get carronades carronades are for up close to bashing away um, they're not good at range but they're very good at bashing away. These are your in between and those are your long range. So let's just buy 12 of these. That's how you do it. Click on the buy and then slide the slider to where you want it to be. 12 and we can see it's going to cost us 10428 We have to pay tax. All up 11470 We've got enough to buy those. So let's buy them. They go into our warehouse by default. There they are. And we can drag, I think we probably have to drag the other ones out first. And then we drag those ones in. And now we've got some better cannons. We've got base damage 40 versus base damage 38. Slightly better penetration 90 versus 79. Quite Quite a lot better actually at 50 meters penetration is 79 penetration of these is 90 so they're going to punch through the hull a lot better they take 10 seconds extra to load so the thing about these ones here is they they load very quickly but because of the way we play where we all from side to side this doesn't matter so much that we we get that extra 10 seconds on loading now what you've noticed here is we've been on the cutter for a short period of time and we've opened up a, sh a ship knowledge slot that's what these are if we click on it there are some default um, knowledge books that we learn as a as a new player so we have these categories of survival boarding speed turning and gunnery and we can put a knowledge slot on a ship to make us um, have extra um, while we're tuning the ship so this is quite a good one to put on at a low level. It gives your pump an extra 50% HP. So let's put that one on. And these slots here are where you put these upgrades. So that's going to give us an extra 2% penetration. Let's put that on there. Now the difference between the upgrades and the knowledge is I can change the knowledge any time I like when I'm in port. I can decide I want to make this into a boarding ship and I can put some extra um, you know, um, points into boarding and let's just do that so we've been aboard and it just swaps it out you can't swap that out if you you can put another one on top of it but it will um, destroy the one in there you can have three permanent upgrades now you can buy knowledge books and you can buy permanent upgrades in the shop and this is where you find the permanent upgrades under upgrades you can see you've got them by crew it's not available at the moment survival these are people selling these and you can buy them for those prices various things to help you with survivability gunnery 
this is quite a good one to get in due course it uh, lets you angle the, um, the, 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 the the cannons better and also forwards and back better this is for your speed and turning and this is for your boarding your boarding slats those are where you buy your upgrades if you want to buy some books the knowledge books are over here and once again crew knowledge books can let you move your crew around more quickly survival there's none available at the moment gunnery this one you can see they're asking a lot of money for it actually he's buying that it's a contract there so you can see who's buying it Francis Strait wants to buy one he's prepared to pay 900,000 for it um, this is a treatise on making saltpeter this person's prepared to pay a million dollars for it um, so those are your gunnery ones speed and turn here these are speed and turning ones and boarding here those are the boarding ones so with the upgrades the basic ones are generally quite cheap so you see that one's twenty thousand dollars for a basic one so you'll find that the basic ones appear in the shops quite regularly um, they're sort of generated by the vendor a lot of the time so this the these other ones we won't cover right now but what that showed you was how to tune your ship make it a bit stronger for when you go out better cannons some extra survivability because you put some pump better pumps and this one's going to give you better penetration for your cannons so hope that's useful to you